Well, I learned a new word today. It's alleopathy, kind of like golly golly and free. <laughs> alleopathy. You see this green patch out here? Last fall, I planted some weed out here. And when I was looking at it today, it kind of struck me as odd that I have like massive weeds outside of this wheat patch and hardly any weeds in it. And I didn't do anything for that. And I could have kind of understand it if I had been gardening that space year after year. But last year was the first year I had uh, tilled up that spot. I grew some sweet potatoes out there and some melons. And then when they were gone, I went over it real quick hardly even broke up the soil good because i was trying to beat the rain and i uh, threw some wheat on the ground raked it in it wasn't even wheat seed it was just some wheat that i had bought you know to grind into flour and it had been vacuum sealed too so the vacuum sealing doesn't seem to affect the germination rate but anyways i just threw the wheat on the ground and I haven't touched it since. I've never fertilized it, never done a thing. Haven't used any types of herbicides on it, nothing. But I wanna show you how thick the weeds are around this and how sparse they are in it. It turns out that wheat has the ability to inhibit the growth of broadleaf weeds, and it sure does. And they say it also has the ability to inhibit the growth of certain crops. So I wanted to mention this to all of you. I haven't had a chance to look into it as well as I would like to. I mean, I still have plenty of time before I'll be cutting wheat and having to deal with this situation. But uh, I hope you can see here just how thick all of this hen bit is, all of the chickweed, and it's almost none in the wheat. I have a few sprigs of hen bit in there. They don't seem to be you know, thriving or anything few sprigs of uh, chickweed, very sparse. Uh, the main weed that I have in there is some kind of a grass. But uh, I planted this wheat hoping to follow it with corn this year and uh, making my own chicken scratch. But it turns out that uh, corn doesn't grow behind wheat very well, so it uh, says that I need to make sure that it's good and gone before I plant any corn here, maybe even pump up the nitrogen. So I thought that I would mention this because I also saw uh, some mention that wheat straw can also have the same effect on your garden. And I know a lot of people are putting wheat straw on their gardens and it appears that it helps potatoes. Well, like I said, I haven't looked into it as well as I, I could, uh, but I thought that I would put the word out there for all of you so that you can look into it in case you uh, plan on planting any wheat or putting any wheat straw on your garden. You could use it to your advantage or it could also work to your disadvantage. So it is something worthy of looking into. So that's my new word for the day, alleopathy. I hope it helps.